I'm going to be sharing with you guys and breaking down for you the secrets on how much the ATM business actually costs that these YouTube gurus do not share with you. The actual cost to the ATM business is much more complex than other individuals are actually sharing with you and teaching you and coaching you and training you. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the actual startup cost to the ATM business, things to look out for, things to be aware of that other people might not be talking about. Sure, you can go ahead and buy a used machine and get it for $1,800 and I'm sure it doesn't come with a DPL unit. I'm sure you have no idea how to pro program the machine. I'm sure it does not come with processing. I'm sure it does not come with a location or a contract for the location. Yes, you can go out there and try to save all of this money with getting cheaper ATMs and cheaper used DPL units and Wi-Fi units and running the Ethernet cable or whatnot, but that's not going to work in the ATM business. One thing I have found out in the ATM business is you cannot cheat the ATM business. You get exactly what you pay for. I was exactly like some of you that are like, man, I'm going to go buy a used $1,200 machine, put it in a location, and here I come to find out that it is doing 40 to 50% less transactions than a brand new machine. Come to find out that the dispenser quits working in three months because it is a older machine that I got on sale or a discount. Yeah, that's rough. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down to you guys the actual costs, startup costs with a new ATM machine uh, to actually become successful because I do not want to set you up for failure. Let's go ahead and break down for you guys exactly what you're going to need in the ATM business. Now, obviously, let's start with number one, which happens to be an ATM. You're going to need an ATM machine. Now, there are multiple different kinds of ATM machines. I'm going to share with you guys the top three. Number one is going to be a standalone ATM machine. The standalone ATM machine is probably the most popular ATM machines of ATM machines. Now this you can get in multiple different kinds, just like you can buy multiple different vehicles, types of vehicles. You guys got Chevy, you guys got Ford, you guys got Cadillac, you guys got Nissan, you guys got all these different cars to choose from. You're going to have all these different ATMs to choose from. Now, the three that I talk about is one, obviously, the Hyosung Halo 2. Two is going to be the Gen Mega. And number three is going to be the Triton. Now, obviously, your standalone ATM, depending on which ATM that you get started with, is going to cost you anywhere from $2,500 all the way down to $2,250, depending on the type of machine, what it comes with, and, and all entails. Now, again, I understand that you can probably go find an ATM machine for $1,800, but I'm not going to talk to you guys about that. I'm going to talk to you guys what it actually costs to get inside the ATM business. So expect to spend anywhere from $2,250 all the way up to $2,500 bucks for a basic standalone ATM machine. Then you guys have your in-the-wall units, as you guys can probably imagine. Banks have in-the-wall units. They are quite expensive because, again, it is in the wall. These are a lot less common, and you guys don't see them as often, and they are very expensive, so we won't even talk about that. The third is going to be a hanging wall machine. So there are Hyosungs and there are Gen Megas. I prefer the Gen Megas that hang on the wall at places almost very similar, like your bars that don't have a lot of room, or your nail salons that don't have a lot of room, or just like your laundromats that don't have a lot of room. Those are your two options, or three options, excuse me. Second is going to be, you're going to need Wi-Fi. You're going to need a Wi-Fi machine, a Wi-Fi box, or an Ethernet cable if the business has Wi-Fi. Now, at the end of the day, I understand all of you guys want to save money. You need to, you know, save all, all of your funds, and you want a penny pinch because that's what the ATM business is all about. Well, listen... Here in the ATM business, penny pension will lose you millions of dollars. It will not make you millions of dollars. So I'm going to share with you guys a DPL unit costs roughly anywhere from two to 350 bucks, depending on which units you get. You can go with OpConnect. You can go with DPL. It does not really matter. Whatever your personal preference is. I use DPL because on my app, I can actually literally reset it or I can call them and reset a certain terminal or an ID uh, on the ATM and it works instantly. So I use DPL. If you don't want to use a DPL and you don't want to pay two to four hundred dollars for an op connect and get into a contract and pay fifteen dollars or twenty dollars or twenty five dollars a month, 
then you have another option. And that other option is hiring a handyman to then run you an ethernet cable. And the reason I say hire a handyman is because most of you are not professional uh, wire installers. Therefore, you make it look very bad when you go to install it. Yes, you save your 150 or $200, but it looks terrible and it looking terrible is not good for customer service. It's not good for your ATM business and it's not good for the business itself. Let's say you got $2,500 over here, you got another two to $300 over here. You're obviously gonna need an ATM contract. Now an ATM contract is very crucial because in today's world, a handshake no longer works. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to hire an attorney. You're gonna need to find somebody that can write you a contract that you feel comfortable with placing your ATM and your money inside that ATM inside of a location. So that is gonna cost you anywhere from 500 to $1,000, depending on which attorney that you got. So we're starting with $2,500 here for an ATM. We're talking about two to $300 for an ethernet cable or a DPL or OpConnect unit. And then we're talking about 500 to $1,000 for an ATM contract. And then obviously, the fun part is install. Install is going to cost you some money. My recommendation is that you don't do it because in case you drop the ATM or in case something happens to the ATM, it's going to be your responsibility where if you have somebody else doing it for you, it's going to then be their responsibility. Now obviously at the end of the day, install can cost you anywhere from 100 to $200 depending on where it's at. I have some installs, yes, some installs with an ethernet cable ran and everything cost me $500, especially if it's in a different state. Like California, because of traffic, because of the location, because of the businesses and running ethernet cables, I literally pay $495 for one install, especially when it comes down to how soon do you want to get the ATM installed. If you want it a week or two or three weeks out, great, it only costs you 250 bucks. If you want it tomorrow and installed because you got a contract signed and a business is ready to go, you're gonna be get paid for, I, I want 495 bucks. You gotta pay, pay a blue collar worker to go install an ATM, go uh, you know, run the ethernet cable and rock and roll, put it in the back of his truck and go. So you're gonna have to be willing to pay more for the time efficiency. So then you have an installer. Then obviously, the ATM's gonna need cash. The ATM's gonna need cash. And I forgot one step prior to you going and installing the ATM. What about the location? Most locations in today's world, because they are somewhat smart individuals, are asking for an ups, upfront cost for the ATM uh, to get placed inside their machine because they know. Now this is obviously in most great locations. Average, mediocre locations don't really, they just want a percentage of the surcharge. But most great locations, like our delis in New York, for example, or these all-cash bars, or whatever the case may be, these particular locations, ladies and gentlemen, specifically, specifically, are going to want upfront money, whether that's 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, heck. Some locations, depending on how many transactions they do, whether they do 500, 700, or 1,000, or 2,000 transactions, some of these ATMs, owners or some of these business owners are asking for $25,000 just to put an ATM machine inside their location because they know how much money that the ATM owner is going to make. Then you obviously have your installer. Now, of course, you're going to need to load the ATM machine. Loading an ATM machine is not free. You're not going to be using other people's money unless you use a loader, which is going to cost you a minimum of a dollar or a dollar twenty-five out of your surcharge. So if you're okay with giving that up, then absolutely get a loader that will load with their money. That way you don't have to worry about it and you can earn that easy passive income month after month. Now if you are loading, the average ATM machine is gonna, gonna take on average three to five thousand dollars to actually fill depending on how often you want to go back. Now obviously there are some machines that take less than that. If they take less than that, they typically don't get used quite often or they have very small transactional charges, like people are taking out 20 to $40 at a time. Then you have some locations that people are taking two to $300 out at a time, which is going to require you to fill the ATM machine a lot more. So breaking down the numbers, as you guys can see, if you guys ultimately want to be successful to get into the ATM business, it's going to cost you anywhere from five dollars to $8,000 in order for you to be somewhat successful. 
uh, to earn anywhere from $200 to $600 a month in passive income. Now the reasoning for making this video is there is a lot of penny pitchers out there in the ATM business that say you can buy the old machines, that say you can save money going to thrift shops and this, that, and the third. But in the ATM business, yes, it is a penny business, but at the end of the day, saving money is not essentially what you want to do. You want to make sure you are A-OK -okay and have it done right once rather than having to redo it multiple times. I'll share with you guys a quick story. I bought a machine for $1,200. This $1,200 machine is now to me worth over $3,500. Some of you guys are like, Austin, how? The reason being is because I bought this beautiful $1,200, very disgusting looking ATM machine that was in an all cash barber. And all cash barber, very old machine, but it was $1,200. So I was winning. I was making $350 to $450 a month, just sitting back, relaxing, and catching those profits. Come to find out that the keypad stopped working. I then said, hmm, okay, it's not in warranty because it's an old machine. Let's go buy a new keypad X amount of dollars later. I said, sweet, we got a new keypad. This is absolutely amazing. Come to find out that it had all sorts of different bill jams. And I was personally loading this machine. And I said, well, this doesn't seem right. This does not work. This is crazy. I then went to my dispenser. It stopped dispensing bills. And come to find out that the dispenser was done for. Come to find out I'm spending anywhere from four to $600 for a new dispenser. It is rocking and rolling. I am profiting $400 to $450 a month with this particular ATM. To come to find out, it does not take EBT. Well, in today's world, EBT transactions are massive. If you're unaware of what EBT is, then you definitely need to look it up. It's where the government puts X amount of dollars on the card, and there's a lot of other different things that come into play. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with a non-card reader that does not do EBT. It does not even take chips. It just uses the swipe. Well, that is old. So I'm going to have to upgrade that because I need to take EBT because I'm missing it on transactions. And a lot of people's cards are chips, not just slides. So I had to upgrade that as well. So now I have pretty much everything on this ATM machine upgraded in terms of the internals, in terms of the keypad, in terms of the card reader, to then realize that I'm missing out on that many more transactions after I have a $3,500 upgraded ATM machine that still looks like it was born in 1995. Hey, that's when I was born. Uh, come to find out that an ATM machine, the older it looks, the less it gets used because the less people trust it. Heck, why wouldn't you? Would you have two options? Would you have the brand new iPhone 12 right here? Or would you have the iPhone Four. Which would you rather use? You'd obviously rather use a newer one than an older one. So make sure and save your money. Just kidding. Make sure and do it right once. That way you never have to do it again. Ladies and gentlemen, Austin Lewis here. Make sure and smash the thumbs up button on this YouTube video. Make sure and drop the comment section down below. And as always, we'll see you guys in a future YouTube video.